welcome to the session 6 of this series here we will be having a look at what is two dimensional vlookup and how to exactly use it we have heard about the vlookup function for quite some time and it is a really very important function of excel it is easy to use if you are well versed with the function today we will go a step further and look how to make use of two dimensional vlookup i will tell the meaning of term 2d that is two dimensional vlookup at the end of this session as you will get to know what do i mean now we have data with us which shows us teacher schedule for a college there are in all 12 teachers as you can see in the data and I have numbered them from 1 to 12 for ease of use further. Now we want to create a schedule using this data to see which teacher is teaching what subject and on which day of the week. Now we will be using the random function to assign a number to a cell for corresponding subject and for corresponding day. we will use the function rand between so i will activate the formula bar and type in r a n d and this will be the function that we will be using i will double click it so i want a value between 1 to 12 inclusive of both so my bottom number will be 1 and my top number will be 12 i will close the bracket and i press enter so excel gives me a random value of 3 for biology on monday now we will press ctrl d to fill in the data downwards I will select the complete cell here and I will press Ctrl D to fill in the data downwards and Ctrl R to fill the data to the right. So this shortcut you can remember to use it elsewhere also because it is worth using it and it saves us quite a lot of time. Now we have assigned a random allocation of a particular subject for a particular day. Now we need to update this data with the name of the teacher so picture looks more clear. We will now be using the match function. So I will type just type in here match we have already used rand between functions to assign a number and in addition to that I will be now using a match function I will open the bracket lookup array here will be the number sequence which we have assigned to each of the teacher so it will be between C10 to C21 that is C10 to C21 now I want to use the absolute reference here so I will just press in F4 on the keyboard so, so this converts to absolute references as you can see and finally we want the value to be exact match so I will press in comma and type in 0 and close the bracket now we will be adding one more function name index to look up for the teacher name here again we will be using absolute reference as we do not want the formula result to fetch incorrect data so for our index function our reference will be teachers name which we want to match so I will just act once again add in the index function open the bracket for index and since we now want to fetch the teacher's name 
I will select B10 to B21. So here we want the teacher's name. So this is B10 to B21 and I again want here absolute references so for, uh, once again I will press scene F4 F4 so my absolute references are being taken I will close the additional one more bracket which we have opened for index and I just press enter here so now you can see the name Sylvia has appeared for the subject biology to be conducted on Monday To fill the complete data now, we will select the complete table once again and then once again press Ctrl D to fill in the data downwards and Ctrl R to fill the data to the right. As we have used absolute references, we are getting the correct data. In case if you do not use absolute references, I worry that you may not be able to get the correct data so be uh, remember always to use absolute references now we will copy and paste these values as not doing so will change the data if we add anything to Excel so I will press in control C on the keyboard and control V on the keyboard and this activates this control option and I will select values only so now all the required names have been fetched based on the functions we have just used now these are the random allocations but here we want to ensure some validations before finalizing this schedule as we do not want any kind of overload or underload to any of the teachers for data validation we will go to data and then select data validation we will select list from the drop down which is already selected by default and for source data we will select the subject name that is biology calculus management accounting and finance so this is our first list now we want to do same data valuation for the day of week so once again I will go to data data validation the list is already selected here and I will now select days and I just click on OK so these are two drop downs list we have created now let us see further now I will select Wednesday from the drop down menu here and I want to see who is teaching calculus on Wednesday now we will be using VLOOKUP function to see which teacher is teaching calculus on Wednesday now here again we will start with the match function so I will activate the formula bar using equal to sign and I will enter the match function and I will open the brackets now I want to find match for Wednesday so I will select in this value and I want absolute reference so I will press in F4 on the keyboard which turns this to absolute reference now I want to look this value from B3 to H3 so this is my days of the week and match type should be exact so I press in comma and enter 0 so you can see value 3 has popped up but we are yet to get the exact name of the faculty who will be teaching calculus on Wednesday now for now it's time to add the VLOOKUP function here so I will just press in and type in VLOOKUP open the brackets once again now I want the VLOOKUP functions to find subject calculus so I will just select in this press F4 again 
to convert it to absolute reference comma I want to find this value in the complete data that is A3 starting from A3 to H8 so this is my complete data I now press comma to complete the formula and I now close my bracket which I had opened for V lookup comma zero exact value for VLOOKUP and close the brackets. Now for VLOOKUP to work we are cons have considered the complete table. To correctly apply VLOOKUP we will add plus one to the match function that is I will add here plus one comma just I will remove the comma sign and I will press enter and now you can see the VLOOKUP function has worked perfectly well because in the initial table we had considered for VLOOKUP we had considered the whole of the array but since we had to find the name from B4 onward so we had added the plus one in the match function and so this Abhijit faculty that is faculty named Abhijit will be teaching calculus subject on Wednesday and if you consider and look the value for the same in the table you can see it is the exact match now you we have already created the drop down menu so if you want to find out which subject is taught on which day you can just go to you can select the subject any of the subject and you can select any of the day and the data will fetch exact name of the faculty who will be teaching on that day that particular subject so this is how two-dimensional VLOOKUP works I hope you had a great session